Hey guys, it is me, Lifesimmer, and welcome to part 26 of Let's Play The Sims 4. Let's go ahead and jump right back into the Monette household. Alrighty guys, and welcome back to some more Sims 4 gameplay. Currently, Jose is awake, showering up. Uh, he has actually the next two days off, which I want to take advantage of that and kind of work on his skills and come friends with Bob. That's my goal, is to come friends with Bob because he's frickin' the bomb.com. But before we do anything, I actually sold a lot of stuff in our inventory that was just not needed and I made some simoleons so we could actually purchase the nano can touchless trash can uh, pretty much this trash can like I told you guys in the last part every time you put a dirty dish which as you can see we can right now have a lot of them we can actually uh, sell them for 40 simoleons so I'm gonna go ahead and show that to you guys here we have some dirty plates drag boom 40 simoleons Let's wait for it let me, let me put it in there. Boom. 40 simoleons. How freaking awesome is that? Um, yeah. It's a good way to make some extra simoleons. And with the way that we eat <laughs> um, in this household, probably worth it. Uh, you know, with um, Candace being a chef and everything, it's probably a good idea. And Jose is up quite early this morning. It's not even 5 a.m. I actually woke up pretty early today, which is not like me. I love sleep and I love staying up late, but I also like waking up early. So I pretty much just hate sleep, but that's not true. I love sleeping, but I hate wasting time, if that makes any sense whatsoever. All right, can I put this this cup in there? Yes, I can. All right, cool, so we made some simoleons. I'm sure, you know, I could make my sims just automatically use it, but I thought I would go ahead and show it to you guys. But we're going to come over here and clean out the spoiled food, actually. And a lot of you guys were telling me, please change Jose back to his normal size because he's starting to look like the Incredible Hulk. And I actually think he is um, toning out a little bit. I, from comparing him to, like, the last part, I think he is toning out a little bit because uh, he went to the gym for or worked out for 12 hours so I'm going to try to work out and see if that will actually bring him back down um hopefully uh, that is a solution because I really think EA needs to fix that glitch a lot of people complain about it a lot of people so they definitely need to uh fix that because not everybody wants their sims to look like the Hulk after running around or freaking eating one meal they don't want to look like the hulk automatically uh so i'm gonna have him actually come over here and do a no sweat run and just kind of chill for a little while spend his morning working out he has nothing else really to do and we will hang out with bob in a little while we're gonna go ahead and have drake wake up and uh just get ready for school go use the restroom and go eat and josh we're gonna have him go eat as well and i does he have today i'm over off? here like does he have today off it's friggin saturday of course he has the day off who wouldn't well you know what not everywhere has a uh, school off saturday and sundays but in the sims they do but uh today is actually drake's first day of work which he starts in 42 freaking minutes so he needs to go eat before he are you kidding me drake drake this bathroom is brand new you best not be messing anything else up because i swear your ass will be grass um, and Candace um, has work today as well. Uh, I hope she gets... Oh, yeah, she's going to get a promotion today. Woo! You guys don't even know how excited I am. So she has work in how many hours? Nine hours. Oh, she has quite a bit of time. She's going to go use the restroom, shower, and uh, eat and have some fun. Because she's definitely not... Okay, you're... we're going to have you do something like... What can she do for fun? I'm going to have her watch the cooking channel so she can feel inspired actually oh watch some culinary training videos hmm all right to improve her culinary career definitely oh wait here's drake in his <laughs> here's drake in his uh uniform he looks pretty hot oh he does though i think he looks very snazzy looks like a man at work love it men in uniform of i don't care what uniform you're in if you are a man in uniform mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah love it but if you are Leonardo DiCaprio then oh boy just oh boy <laughs> uh, so we can socialize with our co-workers take it easy work hard we're actually gonna socialize with our co-workers a little bit see who we're working with because I'm kind of curious uh Candace oh my gosh Candace go use the stop oh. 
Replace it. Just replace the toilet and go use it. And Candace definitely has put on a little bit of weight. I'm going to probably um, fix her because she doesn't really have time to work out. But, you know, we'll just mop up. I really think Candace, I love her. I don't care what size she is, but just to bring her back to her normal size. And I think he's done working out for now. Yeah. And she wants to go watch some TV. Yep. Go ahead and watch the culinary training videos because those are really fun and Josh needs to level up his skills actually I'm gonna have him go work on his creativity skill we're gonna go ahead and clean up that picture right there which looks really nice by the way it has macaroni art all over it he has some trees and a sun looks good I like it he did kind of like an ombre thing too right here Oh, snazzy snares and he's gonna go ahead and draw some vehicles um hopefully he can get that up Today he'll work on his creativity, and if he has time tomorrow, something else. I'm just not quite sure yet. So, yeah. Uh, and are you done working out for now? He said he had a pretty good workout, which is good. Yeah, I, I think he's leaning out, quite honestly. I could be wrong, but I think he's leaning out. We'll see. We will see. I really think EI definitely needs to fix that, though. That's definitely... A very weird <laughs> like occurrence it happens every single part like my sims can eat I don't know for example a piece of cake and he will literally put on so much weight like I'm confused on how that's like that makes any sense whatsoever my sim works out once right uh, to get his skill up all of a sudden he's like the freaking rock I want to know who thought that was a good idea Really, let me know. No, you better not wash those. You b do not wash them. Do not. No. You throw them in there. You understand? You throw your plates and everything in there. For now on, Jose, you got it. Okay, so when it turns green, it's when you can put your plates in there. All right, it's very cool, though. I like it. The nano can. Oh, my gosh, more spoiled food? Holy crap. Why? Why are you doing that? Oh, you know what? Karma. Karma's a bitch. Go ahead and repair that now. <laughs> um, and what is Josh going to go do? Grab a serving. Yeah, well, he's hungry, so he can go eat for now. And Candace is feeling inspired. So she's going to go eat really quickly. And then I'm going to have her probably cook some gourmet meals because I'm how close are we to leveling up very close 80 percent so we're probably going to cook a couple of meals for sure while we're feeling inspired to continue eating that because we need how many three more three more uh, meals to cook before we complete that task we're going to go ahead and look for some upgrade parts really quickly and uh, can we throw that away can I not Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, yeah, I can. <laughs> Before you know it, this baby is going to be paying the frickin' bills. I love it. Jose, how about you go ahead and invite over Bob Pancakes? Oh, where is he? Bobby Bob. Bobby Boy. Bobby. Bob. Bob, 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 Bob. I don't think he actually knows Bob. I don't think he knows Bob. All right, well, Eliza's here, so I guess we will invite her in and talk to her. Um, another thing, I will definitely, I was reading your guys' comments, and somebody was like, you should actually find the hidden lot in Willow Creek for Drake and Nadine, and it's supposed to be really, really romantic, so we're definitely going to be doing that. I was going to do it today, but, um, you know, he has work today, so... You know, I couldn't exactly do that. But uh, Jose, oh no, here's Bob. Wow, wow, okay, I'm silly. We're going to invite him out, actually. Oh no, actually, we should go out tonight. It's a Saturday night. Screw it. Can we not, can we cancel? Yeah, there we go. Screw it, we're going to go out tonight. That's what we will do. Instead of uh, hanging out with everybody. Another thing now. I actually wanted to purchase for Drake is a guitar. I thought he could get into, you know, the guitar. I thought that would be pretty darn cute of him. Activities and skills. 
right here. Now the real question is, should I get him a Freezer Bunny guitar? No, I will get him the, um, this one right here. We'll get it in black. So we can kind of have like a little hobby besides <laughs> being a bad boy. And Candace, how much longer until you have work? We're gonna have her go ahead and, oh my gosh, more spoiled food? Why is my fridge looking like that? Ew. <laughs> We're gonna go cook some more gourmet meals. We will make some lobster thermidor. And I really wanted him to, oh, he's gonna go kiss her and I was like, no, don't do it. Yep, don't do it still, cause you actually are gonna go work on your logic. Go play with Josh. Actually, no, Liza's here. So go ahead and play with Eliza so you can make a friend. Josh, go ahead and clean that up and continue drawing today. All right, go ahead and draw some shapes. Oh, what a day of work. So you made 295 simoleons, which isn't bad. I would say that's not bad. Um, he only worked for a few hours, so why not? He's actually gonna go ahead and you're not going to go smash the dollhouse. No way. No way. He's so bad. I would go ahead and actually perch instant fun. Yep, that's what I want. <laughs> that works out perfect. Instant fun. Let's go ahead and drink it. Drink some of that instant fun. And we have a health potion right here from when he was younger. We actually need to get Josh the... um. That little wizard set for sure. He's probably like, oh yeah, my first drink. <laughs> Thinking he's like a bad boy. We're actually going to go find that lot. It's still early, so why not? I just want him to finish this. I mean, he's now hungry, so we'll go ahead and... Uh, have some leftovers really quickly. We'll have a grilled cheese sandwich for lunch. And then we're going to head out to that hidden lot, which is actually found on like a trail. Oh, and we reached our level eight of the gourmet cooking skill. We can now make Monet Cristo sandwiches. Hmm? And she can also research uh, cooking on the computer, which we don't have one, but we will be getting one. Uh, so yeah, very, very cool. We're going to go ahead and put that away. And I think we're good for now. Candace heads to work in two hours. So she's going to go watch some TV for a little while. Uh, Josh, continue doing your thing. And are you done playing? Oh, he's going to go kiss her. Okay, hold on. Come here. Let him kiss you. He really, really wants to. Candace is, is probably like, okay, Jose. I guess. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Make out, to be honest. All right, and he's off. He's off to go do something now. Oh, and Eliza's gonna give her a hug. What a good friend. We're gonna talk about our dreams and talk about a crazy, oh, or not. Okay, well, bye Eliza. You know what, screw Eliza. Go, go watch your TV. Go watch your TV. All right, are you almost done? Hurry up. We have, we have business to do today, so we gotta get going. We are going to head out. And I'm going to show this to you guys. I'm sure you guys have probably seen this before, but uh, why not go ahead and show it to you? So pretty much you go travel to one of these houses right here. I'm gonna travel to the Crick Cabana and I'm going to go with Nadine. Um, now I'm pretty sure she can't travel with us into the tree quite yet. Um, I don't know if we're gonna have to come back out. I don't know, this is all brand new to me, so yeah. Go ahead and try this out. So pretty much, you go over here to this beautiful tree. Do not tell me this tree is not pretty. It is the prettiest tree in Willow Creek. Mm -hmm. With all the little mushrooms and branches and moss and everything. It's, it's quite cute. And what you do is you come over here and view it a few times. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And look at Nadine standing here like, why am I here? <laughs> Um, but yeah, you come over here and um, you just view it a few times until you realize that it actually opens. Oh my gosh. So we're going to continue to view it. 
I guess we will water it. Nadine, can you move? That would be... Chat about roots. Oh, we can chat to it, actually. Okay, Nadine, go away. Nadine, go away. Just watch. We're trying to do something right now. Something that will be very romantic. There we go. And now, as you can see, it opened up. Like, I feel like I am in a fairy tale. I don't know. Imagine if this actually happened. You were like, oh my gosh, look at this tree. It's so pretty. Boom. It opens and you're like, what the fuck? Do I, do I go in? <laughs> um, so we're going to go ahead and explore the tree. Do, do, do. Go on in, Drake. He's like, whoa, what is this? <laughs> Okay. All right, so we are going to follow the sound. Yeah. Hi, Nadine. How are you? <laughs> um, okay. We are going to follow downstream. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Oh, hi, Eliza. Um, do we enter the mist or do we avoid it? Of course, we're going to enter it. We're just going to keep going down and down and going through all the obstacle courses to get to uh, the gorgeous hidden neighborhood. And of course, we're going to travel to it. Duh. Yes. Okay. We're hi. going. So here we are in Sylvan Glade. It is friggin' beautiful. I would literally, I think I would die if I came here. I am a sucker for fairy tale things. I don't know, like when the trees are pink and purple and butterflies and, oh gosh. I wish, I wish. I swear, if this was real, I would go crazy. And I'm sure there are places in the world that actually look somewhat like this. And I want to go there. Uh, so pretty much here it is. And it's really, really nice. I really, really like it. I wish. I wish. That's all I'm going to say. So you can actually uh, go fishing here and look for frogs. And I'm sure you can find some really rare fish and frogs in here as well. It's really, really beautiful. And I definitely want to take Nadine here. Uh, so I'm going to, I guess, and actually, we're going to ask her on a date. And we're going to see if this is now unlocked on our main screen. I'm not quite sure how that would work, but let's see. Oh, how cute it isn't. <laughs> okay, then. Hmm. Apparently, it isn't, which is really disappointing, actually. Maybe if we travel back through the tree. I don't know. Oh, we can only go home. How lame. How lame. Okay, well, while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and actually have him look for some frogs and probably fish a little bit just so we can, I guess, collect what we can while we're here. And, of course, we will travel back. Hopefully, um, next time we travel back, Nadine can be with us. Okay, we caught a frog. A spotted leaf frog. That's not really rare, but <laughs> it's okay. Oh, and look at the rainbow over here. How freaking gorgeous. Wow. <laughs> I really like it. We're going to go look for some frogs over there. Yeah, we're not going to fish. Screw that. Ain't nobody got time for that. We're going to go look for frogs, though. I really love it here. I feel like Tinkerbell is going to like come out of nowhere and be like, Hello! <laughs> Okay, we, oh, and an eggplant frog. We already have that one as well. Cool. We're going to go ahead and head home now. Oh my gosh, the water is friggin' sparkling. Bye, I need out of here. I need out of here. We will be back. Though. Alrighty, guys, so we are now home. And um, <laughs> Josh is like, hua, 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 hua. <laughs> Okay, then. Um, wow. Well. 
I think it's pretty cool what we just found. <laughs> you know, it's pretty fancy, and I I think it's neat, and it's definitely a romantic, romantic spot in the town, so big fan. Josh, did you finish your painting? Yes, you did. You're going to go ahead and clean it and continue to work on your skill, and I'm actually going to have Drake come on over here. Come on over. And he's going to practice with his guitar. Of course, he's probably going to come off horrible. All right. Look at Jose. He's like, please stop. Please stop. He's like, just kidding. It's so great. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> um, and Josh, you need to hurry up. Oh. What a good son. We're going to go ahead and clean that up, actually. You want your OJ? Well, go ahead and hurry up and finish it. Hurry up. What is he going to go do? Go bug his dad. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and clean up our, our mess over here. Come on, finish your OJ. What is this? Oh, I've already done this one, and you all know how it ended up last time. Apparently, you're supposed to not be a good person and improvise and actually make some um, centerpieces, but you're supposed to go without, so whatever. So we're going to go ahead and draw some more shapes. Come on over here. Josh. There we go. Jose, he literally has nothing to do. <laughs> he has nothing to do. That's why I want him to go out tonight. Um, he doesn't really have any friends. And his only friend um, is actually at work right now, which is Candace. So we're going to invite uh, Bob out to probably Rattlesnake to the Rattlesnake Bar, um, which is in Oasis Springs, just because we never go there. So why not go ahead and head over there for to the for to tonight today today nice <laughs> for tonight get a couple of drinks you know chat it up and i don't know just get to know him a little bit everybody is getting pretty old <laughs> in town which means we will definitely be seeing hopefully some new faces in town i might have to make some because people are getting old but here is mr bob we're gonna go ahead and tell him a knock knock joke and tell a joke about mimes and enthuse about space a little bit just talk to him bob's probably like listen oh he likes it oh hey cool we're just going to you know chat it up a little bit with him i love him i don't know why but i do <laughs> Gossip about neighbors. He'll probably be like, so Eliza, like, freaking stalks me. And he'll probably be like, I know. I know. <laughs> All right, we're just going to go ahead and get to know him a little bit. I swear the town is full of elders now. Everybody's an elder. What the hell? Give him a compliment. And we will uh, point out some constellations. Okay. So we're going to head in here. And look at this girl just dancing. <laughs> okay. We're going to come over here and pick up some drinks. And yep. Make drinks for everyone. No. We're going to order drinks for our group. We will get the zebra fizz. Because I'm pretty sure we got that before. And I thought it was pretty cool. So let's go ahead and purchase that. This girl's like, yes. 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 <laughs> uh, that would be me. The bar is like kind of dead. Nobody's really partying too hard. And I'd just be like, yeah. Mm -hmm. My leopard skirt and my sparries. Don't get cuter than that. Come on over, Bob. We're getting you a drink. Chill out. Relax. It's a boy's night. Oh, Jose and Aaron. Jose and Jeffrey. Don't really know each other yet. Well, that's because we're not here to chat up with you guys. We're here to chat with Bob. All right, Bob, come get your drink. Come on, Bob. Here he comes. He can remind me so much of Noah. We're going to have to go to his lot and see if there's like a shrine or something there. 
because <laughs> I really, really miss him. He was my boy. He was my boy. So we're definitely gonna be checking that one out. Where did Bob go? Oh, Bob. Okay, well, I guess we'll go talk to him. Oh, he's getting actually a little hungry. No, Bob. Oh, he's gonna go eat, actually. Cool, 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 cool. Go do that. Come on, order some chips and eat. Look at him. Being a little socialite. <laughs> I like it, though. I like it. Keep it up. Oh, my gosh. Why did he have, like, an anti-Jose? Do we need to fight him? Because I really think we need to. What is your name? What is... San what is it? Stop moving. Santino as Calam Camila. Okay. Well... We're definitely gonna have to um, give him a what? Did he just? Oh, I thought he took um, Bob's drink. We were about to have a problem, a real problem. We are going to head into the restroom. I don't think it matters which one we go in and go use it because we are feeling rather uncomfortable right now. And I hope Bob eats. Yep, he is. Good job, Bob. He's like, yeah, I'll get myself some chips and a drink. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> now we're gonna come over here and uh, just talk to him a little bit, flatter him. Just, uh, yeah. Just gonna go ahead and wash his hands really quickly. And we'll definitely be calling it apart rather shortly as well, um, considering I'm just waiting for Candace to get home with her promotion. Very excited. She's like the girl at the bar that cracks jokes and nobody laughs. Go. Because I've clearly been to a bar before, guys, right? Totally. <laughs> I watch them on Netflix. I watch people. Uh, I watch How I Met Your Mother. I know all about it. All right, Candace should be getting home from work shortly. Bob's like, I have to pee. All right, well, we're probably going to call it a night with Bob anyways. Uh, we need to get home to our kids, unfortunately. Unfortunately, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a horrible person. Uh, but we are definitely getting to know him. We'll have to call him up tomorrow, which is a Sunday. And I'm going to see if he wants to come over. Nadine, why are you walking the streets at almost midnight? Go home. Go home. Yep, but we're going to go ahead and head home now. And, um, yeah, I think tomorrow we will actually hold a dinner party. Well, oh, that would be kind of fun. Uh, so, yeah, everybody... See you all then. Bye. We got promoted. Uh, we are now a pastry chef, which uh, sounds so freaking good. Uh, she will now make an additional 52 simoleons per an hour, which is a large increase, making a grand total of 104 simoleons per an hour. She also received a bonus of nine, 933 simoleons. We got a pot rack and a professional ceiling mount, mounted pot rack. So we got two. Okay, we got three pot racks actually i don't know why so many but uh her next shift is tomorrow at 12 p.m cool actually those are some decent hours i'm not gonna lie it's very exciting so we have tomorrow well sunday and monday and then we have tuesday and wednesday off so what i'm gonna go ahead and do um i guess i will show you guys all the pot racks that we just freaking got we got this one right here which hangs pretty much on the ground so we're gonna go ahead and sell that one. We got this one right here, which is a medium one, which is practically touching the ground. We're gonna sell that one. And then we have this one right here, which isn't bad. Um, I guess we could keep that one and put it maybe, we really don't have anywhere for it. I can just move this down maybe. No, just move it all together. Put it like right here. Yeah, and then we'll put my little spoon and fork. Ooh, where can I put my spoon and fork? Can I put it, like, right there? We really need move objects on so I could just move it all over the place. Uh, we will put it right there. And can I change the colors of them, actually? Okay. Actually, it kind of wouldn't match. <laughs> um, I'll do those. 
Okay, so cool, everybody. We are going to go ahead and end this part here. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you all probably tomorrow with another Sims 4 part. I love you all so, so much, and I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody. Thank you.